welcome to Mirror Time in the Kitchen. In this video I am jetting off to a city which needs no introduction. Yes, I'm going to New York City. So, I'm super excited to go. I've never been to New York before. I'm going with a friend who I've known since high school and I've not seen her in ages so I'm excited to catch up with her. Now we're going for five days so it is a short break. Uh, we're looking to do a bit of Christmas shopping, go and see the sights and of course taste some of the American food. Anyway, as I say, super excited to go but I have a long journey ahead of me so let's go. So this is where they're staying, the Casablanca Hotel based on the classic film so there should be lots of references inside and you can see it is right next to Times Square so really convenient location and there's a poster for the musical we're going to see tomorrow. We finally arrived after a very long journey. This is the hotel room. Nice big double bed. TV. Some drinks. What's in the pot? Nothing. It's a wine cooler. I love these blinds. Very chic. Casablanca. Mm, can't really see out the window. <laughs> when I first lifted it, I thought it was just going to be a radiator. Mm, yeah, uh, well, not the best view. But. <laughs> Use the bathroom. Little bath. Shower. toiletries and things and that's about it for the tour I think we're ready to go to bed so we'll see you in the morning buy our friendly tigers on the way to Rick's so here is the basic breakfast that they've got at the hotel uh, there were some bagels as well, but they've just taken them away to replenish them, so couldn't get those on film. So we're feeling nice and refreshed after a good night's sleep. We're just about to head out off to the One World Observatory. After that, we're going to the 9-11 Museum. And then in the evening, we're off to see Frozen. Times Square selfie. Here's the view from the observatory. You can see just about everything. There is the Statue of Liberty down there. Beautiful view. Here's a different view from another window. Incredible view. Such a nice day as well for it. Yeah. 
see the tops of so many buildings. So we've just popped into pre manger or Prep to grab a little lunch and I've gone for a falafel salad and a tangerine and turmeric drink. I like this cauliflower. Does it taste of beetroot or do you think they've just done that for colour? It doesn't taste that strongly of beetroot. I can I can definitely get beetroot in it. I've made beetroot hummus myself and it's been like a stronger flavour. Yeah. It's nice to get something like nutritional after breakfast. We weren't very impressed with the breakfast. <laughs> Yeah, I think there's a fair few different things that you can get here that you wouldn't get in the UK. Like this one you don't get in the UK. Yeah. The, the other like salmon and avocado one I don't think you get. You get like a chicken yeah. and avocado one in the UK. I do think the fights do vary quite a lot though. Like when you go to the bigger ones, they have a lot more of that smaller mm -hmm. ones. So. It can depend what time you a day you go as well. Yeah. Depends what they brought out at the time. Yeah. Especially the hot stuff. Like mm. if you don't come at the right time, they can have a lot less hot stuff. Yeah. This might be the most orange thing I've ever drunk. <laughs> What makes it so orange? Has it got turmeric? Oh, it says tangerine and it says turmeric as well. It's kind of, it's odd but I like it. Mm -hmm. I can't taste the turmeric. I hate cooking with turmeric though because you end up oh with it like, God, in colour. your fingers for days. Yeah, your fingers and your chopping board. Oh, oh yeah, like, the chopping board. Wipe the cloth right <laughs> I wouldn't mind eating at, um, the Olive Garden tonight because it'll keep us local for frozen. And that's like Italian. So it should be relatively light. Like you always hear like in American shows that they're always going on about Olive Garden. Like I remember, you know Glee? Yeah. They always banged on about Olive Garden. I, I'm sure they must have had some sort of like yeah, brand deal. Yeah, some sponsorship going on there. So this is Ground Zero where the Twin Towers used to stand. And you can see around the side, there's all the names of those whose lives were lost. So unfortunately Olive Garden was fully booked so we've gone for TGI Fridays tonight. 
So to eat, I've gone for a burger and fries. I've got a buffalo burger. Can't remember the exact name of it, but it does have buffalo spice. There's something. Like, even for a burger, it just looks bad. on top they're quite yeah that's quite nifty there was a restaurant in Hull um, it's closed now and they did all sorts of different burgers but there was this one burger that was like you know like the big one you know all these burger places they always have like a really big one well this burger came with a mini they, they all, all, all the burgers came with stuff on top so if it was like a chicken burger it came with like chicken wings on top of it like this one yeah. or I don't know, I can't think of other examples, but the big one came with a tiny burger on top. I just thought that was so cute. show on Broadway. <laughs> 